guys welcome back to my channel i am leticia and this is that so leticia and to all of my new viewers supporters subscribers welcome guys and thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you enjoyed the content and to all of my returning viewers supporters subscribers welcome back guys as always it is a pleasure to see you without further ado let's jump right into this video we are approaching that time of the year I'm talking about the hot, sweaty, sweltering, humid, depending on where you live, just what appears to be what feels to be unbearable heat. So since I have a event that I am going to in the next several days where the mercury in my area is supposed to, you guessed it, top triple digits. We're talking about 105 degrees. And this just so happened to be an outside event. I don't know who thought that that was genius, but look, I'm just trying to make friends where I live. Even though I've been here four years, I don't know. I feel like this event at this time of the year is probably not the right time to try and go out and be social. But I digress, right? You, you take what you can get. So what we are going to do is test a look, right? This is going to be a summer weather sweater, not sweater, but ooh, sweater weather approved beat for the summer, right? So even if you're sweating everywhere else and everywhere else is just kind of coming apart, we want to make sure at least our face stay intact. So here we go. And of course, we're first going to start out with a primer. I have been absolutely in love with this. I wore it last weekend, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. I wore this last weekend. When I tell y'all, my face was giving, okay? I was tired, I was ready to give up, but my face was like, no, we still got a good five, six hours left. Like not a bit of shine, nothing. I was so impressed. And was I in the heat? Yes, I was in the heat. And I mean, I was so impressed. So yes, I, I have to keep it moving, but I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. For the sake of this video and my supply that Sephora cannot seem to keep in stock, I'm just going to use a very small bit because this is not the actual night for the event. We're just kind of playing around with a look and seeing how I like it. So I'm just going to use a small bit because I mean, once everybody found out how amazing this water serum is it does not last the moment that sephora's notifications inform you whether it's email or text or you just so happen to be on the website or the app however you find out the moment you find out that this is back in stock it is gone like it is literally gone i can't be out here in these streets like that for the summer Sorry, I can't, I, I can't. This has eliminated the need for me to have to also carry around press powder. And I know that might not seem like a lot, but yeah, I don't have to carry around any form of blotting papers, blotting powder, blotting tissue, like nothing, absolutely nothing when I wear this as my primer as a base so you have to use it sparingly this is not something you play around with because it is not readily available like that no ma'am moving on to our color corrector faux filter color corrector by Huda Beauty this is going to go under the eyes and while I'm doing this happy Thursday um, depending on when you see this, but this is being filmed on a Thursday, a very interesting Thursday to say the least. 
Have you guys watched the news? Have you been on Twitter? Have you been on TikTok? Ooh, interesting development in our country as of late. Um, I'll just leave it there, but yeah, interesting time we are in. All right, so now that I have the color corrector on, I'm going to take a Makeup Shack T29 brush and just begin to blend everything out. And the color corrector I put on down here is Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Pumpkin. Yeah, I can't be out here in these streets called slip in the summer. This heat, like it's not even June. How, how, how? Why are we in the triple digits? Like, why? Who does that? Who lives like that? Apparently we do. And I'm like, to prevent from just going outside with absolutely no makeup on, which is fine if that's what you're feeling, but I'm not necessarily feeling that. And I need something that is just going to, like here's the heat and here's my makeup and here's my primer, like, like just, you, you not penetrate, you, you not touching, you not getting close. Like I need my makeup to stay pretty. You know, we need to be out here giving looks for the summer. And if we're already in triple digit heat and it's not even June, like y'all remember back in the day, June used to kind of give spring still like you had your mid 70s you had your 80s 90 was considered a heat wave where i live at now i don't think i've ever heard regardless of how hot it's gotten i don't think i've ever heard them refer to the weather as a heat wave that worries me because it's hot as hell like literally already and if you are having personal summers this is not okay. It's not, it's, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable is what it is. So now I'm going to move on to my actual foundation or in this case, keeping in line with the yummy skin line since it's just absolutely amazing for just swallowing up any sort of moisture, any sort of shine. I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. This is the Blurring Balm Powder in what, shade 8.5. This one too, this shade sold out on the Sephora website. And I love that for Danessa, but I don't, I'm, I'm not too happy about that for us. Mm -mm, not for us. Because that means that we have to watch the website like a hawk for when it actually does come back in stock and hope that we can actually catch it and then not sell out again. So for concealers, I will be using two. The first is by NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in shade number chocolate or dark zero. And I will be applying this using a Morphe M224 brush. Really, really like this one because it is pretty much my skin tone. If you just need to mask a little bit of puffiness, but not really bring any brightness to your face, this is amazing. This particular shade, at least. Now, if you prefer to have all of your concealers, you know, have that brightening effect, same formula, but you may just want to change up the shade. And then I'm going to take the same T29 and just kind of go along the outer perimeter and just blend it in. This has such a easy blendable consistency. You don't really have to do much, especially 
since we're going to put another concealer on top of it. And for the second concealer, I'm going to use Tower 28. This is the Swipe All Over Hydrating Serum Concealer. And this is in the shade Samo. I really like this one, um, especially for like the blending and brightening effect. I'm trying to get into actually applying makeup more. And what I mean by more is I have been told so often that I am very light-handed on my product. And I don't necessarily know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I do know being told that you're light-handed on applying makeup, it it, it kind of makes sense to me now because I'm like, why does it seem like I, I have makeup forever? And I'm like, I use it all the time, but you're not really using it. Like you're not using a generous amount, you know? So yeah, I'm trying to get into the habit of actually applying like a decent layer of makeup when I do apply. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. And while the concealer is drying down, I'm going to move on to my brows. I will be using, of course, the Danessa Myricks Defining Neutrals Groundwork Face Palette. Shade that I use for my brows, it has not changed. It is this dark brown pomade and powder labeled Bark. And I'm going to apply using a Morphe M165 brush. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit, let's see, use, use this rounded one. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and kind of clean up my under brow area. And now I'm just using my fan to dry down the concealer a little bit more. So before I totally blend out the concealer, I'm going to apply my liquid blush. So the blush I'm going to use, it is by Mco Beauty, and this is their Cheap and Lip Tint in Flamingo. I'm going to put a little bit of this to the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty and vibrant? That is definitely right for summer. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And I'm now going to blend in the concealers, this time using a damp beauty sponge. And I'm gonna blend down towards the blush. Now I'm just going to take the rest of the blush that I have and add another layer. This is so pretty. They call it a tint, but I swear it's it looks like paint. Like that's how vibrant it is. It does blend out kind of sheer. I have used it before, but it's so pretty. so pretty. 
And now I'm just going to start to set the concealers. I'm going to use Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder, and this is in shade Peach Pie. I love this one. It gives just the right amount of brightness, um, but not too much to where it looks like it just should not be used on us who have more deeper melanated skin tones. Like, I don't know. All of Huda Beauty's products to me are bomb. I have not come across a bad one or one that I kind of feel like, mm -mm, okay, yet, um, except the netting. Y'all know the netting on the loose powder just does something to me. But I found ways to work around it, so this is that girl. And this is the original, this is the OG formula, not that unfragrant one. I don't know who she made that for, but I was definitely not the target audience because I love the way this smells. And now, back to baking, using the same powder. And basically, I'm just going to add Me and bronzers right now, we're having a moment. And it's a moment that I'm, I'm, I'm liking. I'm not ready for it to end. So the bronzer I'm going to use is Dew Butter. And this is what it looks like. And let me just grab my Sephora Pro Bronzer 80 brush. I mean, I am like full on in love with bronzing right now. And it's so interesting because I go through these moments where originally I'm like, mm, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that makeup or that makeup technique. I don't need it, I can do without it. And then I try it and I'm like, oh, is this what I've been missing all along? Like, what? And that's, that's me with bronzers. I don't care what time of the year it is. It can be snowing. It could be Christmas. You're going to catch me outside with some sort of bronzer on. It may not be a lot, but I'm going to have on bronzer. So we're going to move on to our eyes. Now for this look, I actually wanted to use some fun, summery, super bold colors. So for this, I'm going to shop my stash, okay? The palette that I'm going to use, this is the Natasha Denona Circle Loco Limited Edition Palette. This, this palette is insanely colorful, super pretty. I believe this one came out right around like carnival time. Um, if it did, it was extremely appropriate for that festival. First, I'm going to apply some P. Louise eyeshadow primer. So one of the things that just kind of let me know that this was a limited edition kind of festival fun palette, but not necessarily one that you could utilize on a regular basis, is there are like no neutral toned shades in here. So for that reason, I am going to use the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Define and Neutrals palette. I am going to grab some, let's do Desert. 
this one here. I'm not going to use the pomade, I'm going to use just the powder. And I'm going to actually apply that as my transition shade. So I'm going to apply first Magic, which is this matte purple shade here. And I'm going to apply using a Morphe Defining Creeks brush, although I don't have creeks. Now I'm going to take, let's see, change up my brush. I'm going to take this Morphe M433 and apply Acrobat, which is this shade here. These colors are very bright and whimsical, which is why I've been sitting on this palette for quite a while. I mean, there are some of us that are just, you're you heavy, you heavy into bright colors, but me it has to be like a special occasion for me to kind of pull them out especially colors like this like when you put on these sort of colors there's no mistaking you you knew what you were doing you went for the gusto you pulled out the boldest palette that you could find i know this particular palette didn't get that good a reception though I only seen like a handful of videos on it like it I don't know it, it almost felt like it caught people off guard like this was Natasha Denona's wild card you know because you see her palettes and they are so much more subtle and versatile to the point where you can dress them up you can dress them down and this palette it was kind of like what do we do with it? Like, how, how do we use it? And when do we use it? Why should we use it? But it's a fun palette. I really enjoy like the color story. Although I didn't necessarily understand it, but I think it's a cute enough palette. And let's see, we are going to take, let's take Act which is this kind of purpley shimmer. Not, not so much metallic, but kind of shimmer shade using the same brush. I'm going to apply it towards the back inner V or outer V of my eye. And then just kind of flick it up. This is a Eco Tools smudge brush. And I'm going to take electric, this shade here, and apply it to my lower lash line.
I don't know y'all, I kind of like this eye. Plus, this weekend when I do go out, and don't act like y'all ain't see it, these little box braids that I put in myself, I'm actually going to take them down and I applied them with like some setting mousse. So I know when I take them down, the crinkle is going to crinkle and I can do like a cute little design in my hair with it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be cute. All right, I think we cooking with a little something, something. I am of the belief now that uh, braids are not necessarily a protective style. What are we protecting our hair from? Because protecting means we not leaving nothing behind, okay? Everything is being protected. And my edges, baby, my edges was on the front lines. And there are some casualties, not many, but there's definitely some casualties. Some of the follicles really took a hit and that was because of the braids. So yeah, I needed to take a break from the braids, but I'm like, how can I take a break from still doing my hair? Plus again, triple digit heat, like your loose hair, especially after I traveled back home and I saw like how the humidity in the air back home was treating my hair and how my hair felt softer. I felt compelled to kind of lock moisture into my hair once I came back to this home by just braiding it up. And I'm using the same products that I've been using for the past, oh my God, like eight months now, which is the As I Am Rosemary line. That stuff is so bomb, I promise. I am like a lifetime unpaid, unpartnered <laughs> spokesperson for the hair care line. Yep, I'm able to just kind of spray the spray in my hair, put the oil on my scalp and just go. So I feel like this weekend doing this look and have my hair out, oh, it's gonna be bomb. That's gonna be one of the only times that I am grateful that there is no humidity because my hair, if it was humid, my hair would not stand a chance. So I'm, I'm liking this look, y'all. And I'm going to, for the sake of the look, I'm going to apply a little setting spray. Oh, nope, let me use this one. So now I'm going to apply a little airbrush flawless setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Now, if this was not a test, and we were actually about to go out and do the damn thing, I would be using one size because that setting spray, nothing moves absolutely nothing moves but this is more or less to just kind of melt everything together so we can see what we're working with now for our lip i'm going to use this is another shot my stash this is the collaboration lip liner between dose of colors and naima tang it's called amberish lip liner this is such a pretty color to use this matte lipstick by Juvia's Place in the shade Muted. I love a good cool toned lip. And on top of that, also by Naima Tang in Dose of Colors, this is the Shimmer Lip Gloss in Sequence. Topper. 
All right, guys, so this is the final look. Off camera, I applied my Lily Lashes 34th Street, chopped and screwed in half. You guys already know. And yeah, so I'm liking it. I'm trying to get like a, a, a visual of what my hair is going to look like. That's kind of hard because my hair is flat right now in it's protective style. And this weekend, oh, she's gonna be big and just out there. And I love that for me. So I hope this party is ready for what it is I have to bring. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. As always, in the description box below, there will be a list of all products used to achieve this look. Even if the product that I use came from my shop or stash, which means some items may be limited edition, there are some aftermarket resellers and retailers that still do have these items in stock. But if you're interested, it never hurts to Google because there are some vendors that are still carrying these products. But guys, the summer is here, at least for most of us. So not only do you be well and stay safe, stay hydrated and stay cool. Exercise, self-care, it is not a privilege, but a necessity. Check on your strong friends after you check in with yourself. And until next time, guys, we shall chat again soon.